You're such an asshole! Hello all, it's the old captain here and uh, we're gonna do more asshole consulting if you have a question and need my advice. Why would I need your advice? Who the fuck are you? I'm the guy getting paid every fucking day to do this and you're not. You're just a millennial fucking cunt who wants to find a reason to take me down. But you just, it, just accept, accept them all. See that? That little bit of gray, that touch of gray? Yeah, that means you should fucking listen to me. All right. Dear asshole, I'm a British 20 years old guy with an IQ of 126. I can bench press 135. I've banged around 25 girls, lost my virginity at 18. Man, you're, uh, you're on the war path there. Not bad. I mean, what are do you weigh 135? Like, if you're 200 pounds, you can only bench press one. Oh, wait, are you in kilos? I wonder if you're in kilos because you guys are British and you're weird. That's why we fought the war is to get away from your fucking kilos and your nautical miles. I'm considering whether I should drop out of college. It is important to me to get the right advice, so this email will have to be a long one. Please feel free to be a dick about this and charge extra, which I did. I don't mind paying for good advice. My background, born in London, parents divorced when I was six, fuck them, moved to Italy and I was raised by my mom and her whiny socialist cuck boyfriend, fuck them. I was given all the wrong lessons about women and making friends. Yep. Uh, my father's side of the family pretended to be rich, broke doctors and entrepreneurs. Ah! <laughs> entrepreneurs. Oh, is that fucking on? Oh shit, I'm writing that shit down. Hang on, that's got it. That's fucking great. Fucking entrepreneurs. Holy shit. Dude, kid, I should have charged you less. Entrepreneurs. Oh, fuck. I'm going to use that later. All right. That was a good one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and spoiled me like a little piece of shit. Around 18, I realized I had to fix my life. That's very early to realize you've got to fix your life. You're on You're on the right path. path. You have self-realization. You 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 and the ability to be to critically judge yourself at a very or a very early age. Most eighteen year olds are still fucking jerking off the porn and thinking they're the greatest thing ever. I went on a gap year, mostly financed by my family. Spoiled child, I told you. I lived seven months in Tokyo, Japan. You're doing reconnaissance uh, for the first three months. I was a virgin. I decided to turn things around thanks to resources like RSD and online forums. I made cool friends and banged a lot of chicks during the rest of my stay. I don't know the number, but it was around fifteen. God almighty. You made 15 girls in, in four months? God, that is a full-time job. Uh, during this time, I was exposed to entrepreneurship, personal health, goal setting, blah, blah, blah. I took another gap year, worked in sales, traveled, self-sponsored, blah, blah, blah. Most of my family hated the idea of me not going to college. My mom cried on multiple occasions. What is with the fucking moms? Like, look, ladies, this is, let me talk to the moms. I know your life sucks, and that you fucked it up. I know you guys fucked up your personal lives so much that all you have left is to live vicariously through your other children. Uh, but here's the thing. Since you fucked up your life, do you think you have intelligence and wisdom and sage advice to give to these kids? What do you, you want them to go to college? You, in other words, your, you, your thoughts, your wisdom has already proven to be a failure. What you think is good has already proven not to work in the real world. That's why you're a fucking loser mom, right? So don't hurt your kids trying to have them do what you think is in their best interest because what you thought was in your best interest led to your pretty pathetic and sad, pathetic life. So why don't you shut the fuck up and let your kids go on and figure out their own shit because they're going to do better. They're going to learn from your mistakes and learn monkey see, monkey don't do. All right, moving on. And they constantly pressure me to get into a university. All these stupid fucking baby boomer parents. They offered to pay for my education. I was getting a, I was getting of scared of the future. That's how he wrote it. So I ended up applying for a prestigious school and I got in. Uh, I, SOAS, S-O-A-S. Look it up, it'll make you laugh. I am now a first year economics major with Japanese studies. Don't freak out, Clary. The Japanese studies are just extra bullshit. Of course, I used to raise my GPA. <clears throat> Turns out my family has no savings left forever, and I will have to pay back my loans, eleven thousand uh, dollars per year in a three-year degree. Look at that! Look at that! These fucking cocks that you never rely. You can't trust anyone, guys. You just can't trust anyone. Show me the money. They demanded you go to college, knowing full well those cocksuckers couldn't even fucking pay for it. They made you invest your time and now your money. Oh, I'd fucking disown them. Honestly, I, I'd be like, fuck you. Fuck. No, no. No. Fa. Fa. K. Ye. Ooh. Fuck. So let's say it with me now, Mom, Dad. Fuck you. 
Uh, I also have to pay my own rent, my UK-based part of my li family lives far away from the school, and they are unbearable. Oh, my UK-based part of the family lives far away from the school, and they are unbearable. Bearable. They're loud, stupid, watch CNN 20. What are they doing watching CNN in Britain? They got the BBC. Look, quit parasiting off of our fake news. You got your own fake news of your own. It's called the British Broadcasting Corporation. They did some good work back in the Hitler days. Now you guys are just fucking cucks. Uh, being of African descent, they also have the typical seniority bullshit culture going on. Um, what is that? Just they're older, therefore you gotta honor them or something? I can't really complain about my family leaving me stranded because it has made me mature and a lot, mature a lot, and see the world for what it is. I'm not a pessimist or a misanthrope. I simply understand that nobody gets or deserves free shit. Dude, look, you are, what are you again? You're 20 years old, you're figuring this shit out. Man, you are light years ahead of even me. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And people who do get free shit, i.e. rich kids and hot girls, get fucked over in the long run. There you go. I got myself a job as a way that pays $400 per week for 35 hours, and my expenses are $250 a week. Rent, food, gym. After networking with entrepreneur guys I meet during my travels, I managed to make money with a drop sh shipping e-commerce store I built. Um, I don't know if you do or do not want me to, to mention it. Um, I, I won't. I'll just err on the side of caution. I made almost $2,000 in sales in two weeks, $400 profits from my best-selling pro uh, products. Uh, doing this while studying and working was very hard. I had to sacrifice my personal time. Very little pussy in the last few. Yeah, I think you, get, you got enough up front there, dude. I think you can you can amortize it and spread it out a little bit. You can take a you can take a sabbatical from the poo tang. All right. My current situation. Even though I haven't fucked that many girls this year, I'm not concerned. I'm confident I can get my shit back together because I understand women now. I could get laid even if I was in a wheelchair. I'm jacked, a good-looking black guy. Useless skills, but that makes mirrors. A lot more enjoyable. My business margins were low because I was drop shipping. Now that I have tested out my business model, I am starting to buy products in bulk and storing them in a fulfillment company. I've already found partner companies and I will instantly raise my net profits by 70%. No, no, you hope to. You're getting ahead of yourself, are you? You hope to. Don't, you know, don't assume. Never bank on it. I mean, I wish you do I, and, and, and you are forecasted to, but don't say you will. You will when it's like, it's like Donald Trump. Everyone's like, oh my God, Donald Trump's elected. I'm like, like, I will celebrate when he lowers taxes. I will celebrate when Obamacare is repealed. I will celebrate when there are accomplishments. You know, when the, you know, don't celebrate until the bounce, uh, or the check uh, cashes, not bounces. Uh, I then plan to scale my best selling product and then apply them all to more products in the security camera niche. My, my, my school is. Mind-numbly boring and time-sucking. I could literally write a 5,000-word essay on how fucked up academia is. I am already financially independent thanks to my waiting job. I know what I want from the next decade of my life. I want to live in cool places like like Vegas and Seoul and paying hot Asian chicks with fat titties. <laughs> fucking God bless you, dude. Dude, that is fuck. That that's it, man. You're living the fucking dream. God bless America. Look at you. I want to. I know what I want from the next decade of my life. I want to live in cool places like Las Vegas and Seoul and hang. And bang hot Asian chicks with fat titties. Other girls are okay as well. <laughs> oh, I'm printing this one off. I'm a minimalist and most of my entertainment comes from learning and my penis. My request, should I drop out? After lots of research and testing, I'm confident in my ability to make money without university. Here are four reasons why I'm scared of dropping out. Reason number one, a degree will allow me to settle and get a regular job in any country in the world. And now it won't. One of my greatest regrets in life was not being able to settle in Japan at a time where I had four hot girlfriends. My favorite one was a super loyal Asian wife material, and she looked a lot cuter version of the porn star Rin Kajika. I'm afraid that if I do not get a degree, it will be near impossible to sell anywhere in the world other than Europe or the UK. I have dual citizenship without getting married. Reason number two, cost sunk bias. I've put 11000 already into this shit. Should I really quit halfway? Well, you, you, you're... It's not like your credits go away. You can always go back and go to college. Reason number three, my family would give me so much shit. Fuck them. I mean, did you not understand the fuck them part? 
After how they pushed me into university while lying about their ability to support me, I truly hate them except for my little sister. They're intellectually dishonest, selfish failures. If I drop out, I will cut them out of my life. I'm not reluctant to do so. Nonetheless, this is a big step. Reason number four, even though most of the college is bullshit, I do see the value in being able to commit to a three-year degree. It adds to my track record of accomplishments. The question is whether it is a relevant accomplishment or not. So should I drop out? If you need any questions, let me know. All right, let's take these one by one. Uh, should I drop out? Uh, a degree will allow me to resettle. I get a regular job in a country in the world. Not being so in Japan. Okay, here. A degree will not allow you to get a job wherever you want. It just won't. Especially not an economics degree. It's not that great of a degree. And I would say if you really want to go back to Japan, your your language skills, not even the degree, but just the language skills is what's going to help you out even more. On top of that, your drop shift, shipping, if I understand that correctly, you can do that from wherever. And if you're willing to live a minimalistic lifestyle, the only thing you'd really be giving up is your waiter job. So if you can... Uh, fine-tune your drop shipping. you can make sure it's a stable income and you go out for a year at a time or six months at a time you can already live your dream without having to even get a job you could just live on the drop shipping income this of course again assumes that you know you have that uh, and you can keep it up so uh, I would not want to have so much faith in a degree that's gonna land you a job wherever you want it won't uh, but I would put a, a little bit more faith, and I'm not even asking that you aim for the stars unrealistically. It's like, yeah, shoot for the stars, and that's how everybody fails. But you're already seeing sprouts, saplings of success, grow out of the ground with your dropshipping business. Uh, I would give that a little bit more time, see if you can't perfect that business model, and get enough money that you could live wherever because that's the goal, dude. This is the thing that your generation gets to enjoy, as does mine, if we put our minds to it. And that is you have location-independent employment. You can just do your shit on the internet. So what I would do is put less faith in your degree. I'd put more faith in you. This doesn't mean you don't pursue your degree. But what I would kind of do is start gearing up to go and try. Because here's the thing. Watch my video. No one, well, no one is going to trust you until you're 35. Or don't try until you're 35. Sorry. You're 20, and uh, you probably look very young. No one's going to take you seriously. You don't have this magic touch of gray like I do. So I am more of the belief that you should continue what you did before, and that is travel around to Asian countries and begging Asian chicks with big fat titties. I think that's what you should do if you could get your self-employment online to finance that lifestyle. Because... That is going to be so cool, and what you'll probably find out in those travels, which is kind of the overall point of reconnaissance, man, is you're going to find out exactly what you want to do. You know, maybe, I'm sure economics is interesting to you, but is it, do you really want to become an economist? Because if you do, then you got to go get your doctorate, and you know what? Most of it's dead entry, mind-numbing fucking bullshit, All right? So I would, I would, I frankly, I would drop out because the degree is worthless. It's not going to, it's, that un, unto itself, forget your plan B which is very tempting uh, on its own, uh, an economics degree just isn't worth it. I'd be looking more at like programming, IT, uh, engineering, something like that, if you're going to put your time and effort into it. And you know, you've been going to the colleges and the classes, you know it's all mindless bullshit, poppycock, and, and worth a shit. So I would drop out, but uh, understand it's not your degree that's going to get you the opportunity to travel wherever you want. It's going to be your entrepreneurship and self-employment. That's going to allow you to do that. So what I would do, this is just me, finish up whatever school you have to do. And if you like some classes, okay, take a class or two at night. But what your primary goal should be is working your waiter job, uh, optimizing your online uh, company to generate the income that you can use to finance yourself, pay off that $11,000 in U.S. debt, should be able to do it in a little bit, and uh, get yourself to the point that you have a war chest that you could feasibly go and travel somewhere you know, hang out in Asia for six months, go where you want, do what you want to do, and live off of your income that you make online. So that's what I would do. Reason number two, cost sunk bias. I've already put 11000 into this shit. Should I really quit halfway? Again, you're not quitting. You can always go back. And if I understand this correctly, most of your classes have nothing to do with what you want to do. They have nothing to do with economics. It's all bullshit prereq classes you got to take. On top of it, economics is a worthless degree. Read my book, Worthless, if you have to. But it's not going to, you know, you got to find out what you want to do personally. 
what you would like to do as a career. And if it's drop shipping or making money online as an entrepreneur, I understand that may be temporary and fleeting, um, but it's going to teach you a lot more skills. You could almost become a salesman because that's what you're doing now. There, there's, in other words, what I'm saying is there's no future in economics unless you're willing to get a doctorate. So really ask yourself if, that, if that's how much time and effort you want to put in. Do you want to go over to the LSE and listen to the leftist fucking dipshits going on over there? I mean, do you really want to go fucking become a fucking data entries man over at the Bank of England? All right? Or do you want to go fly around Asia banging big fat or big titted, fat titted Asian chicks? Every guy, you don't understand. Right now, you can't see it, but every old man is like, dude, the chicks, do the tits and the chicks. Fuck college. Every guy who's wiser than you is cheering you on to go bang chicks in Asia. All right? That's what they're doing right now. Anyway, so you can always return to your degree, but what I think you should do is while you're out there, because you can't just, well, I guess you can. I guess a life of just banging hot, big titted Asian chicks would be okay. I suppose man could suffice on bread and water alone, but you would need some kind of intellectual stimulation. What I would look at into is getting a degree that's accredited online. Maybe Arizona State University, Western Governors University, someplace where you could you could take a class or two online, do it at night, you're making your money, having your fun during the day, and, and down the road you'll work toward it because again, no one's gonna take you seriously until you're 35. You're in no rush to get your degree. Okay, you're in no rush. And you may not even know what you want to study. So I put that on hold until you really figure out what you want to say. And don't worry about this con co uh, uh, sunk cost bias. I, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, reason number three, my family give me so much shit. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. It, your real problem and hang up with this is not that your parents are going to give you shift, shit or guff. Um, your problem with your family is that it's Darwinistic and genetic and, and psychological. You would be giving up on your family. And this is a huge hurdle for any person to do because that for two million years of human evolution has been ingrained to us and what has kept us alive, especially in this particular point in your life where you're your poorest and you are not living at home. All right. So you have this huge, basically, except from here forward, this part of your brain is the only thinking part. The rest of it is screaming and yelling at you. You can't give up on your family. It's your tribe. You need them for survival. We'll die without them. You have got to override it with this frontal lobe part of your brain. These fuckers fucked you over. They don't love you as much as they love themselves. All right? Your mother wouldn't have gotten divorced. She wouldn't have fucked that guy. Your dad wouldn't have. I don't know where your dad is. All right? and they, or your dad is the die. All right? They wouldn't have uh, lied to you uh, down, and, and led you down this path. If, if they loved you more. I'm sure they love you, but they seem to love themselves more. And on top of it, they just seem to be bad people, not evil, just bad people to hang around with because nothing good comes of them. So what you have to learn, and, th and this is how you kind of divorce your family, is you you're not going to legally emancipate yourself from them, which is child, you divorce yourself from your parents, it's called emancipation. At least that's what's called here in the United States. That's not what you're doing. You're cutting them off until they get their shit together and they start treating you with respect. And a lot of people have to do this. I know a lot of Asians, uh, males and females, will come to the United States because of the traditional Asian. I don't just mean East Asian. I mean more Central, East India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, the Muslim world. It's huge where it's like, you are... And they just, uh, not abuse, but they take advantage of their children as bragging tools. And they never let their kids grow and develop to their, to their best or live their lives how they feel free, uh, feel fit. So for you, you got to cut yourself off from them, but you don't get them out. You don't, you don't kick them out of your life forever. You take a hiatus. You say, I'm going to go and do my own thing. I have to do this. They'll scream and yell, but they have no right. They have no right because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They make bad decisions and they've been a bad influence upon you. They've made you, they put you in this situation where you got this $11,000 in debt that they're not going to pay or they can pay. So you got to, and you don't have a choice, you're already starting to learn these lessons very early on in life because of the harsh galvanizing environment you've lived in, and that is, who can you rely on? You. You're the only one that's going to get you out of this shit, motherfucker, and you know that. So you got to, you not only have to know that up here, you have to put it in here and say, okay, I got to get out of this myself. And what you'll find is um, your family, when you leave, they'll be hurt, oh my god, nah, 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 nah. 
but it's the first time everyone did anyone ever did this to him. Slapped him right across the face and woke him the fuck up. And then they'll start to think, oh shit, I just lost my son. Now, you, they, ha they haven't lost you. You, you. you know, fine, call your mom every once in a while. If she gives you shit, hang up the phone. You got more important shit to do. But you leave him alone for a bit. You let him sit and stew. And then you visit him again like, okay, hello, mom and dad. How are things? What the fuck are you and God? See you, bye. All right. And then you, you, and then you can even give him like, hey, I'm going to come by for Christmas if that's all right. Are you going to lecture me about my lifestyle choices? Or are you going to be happy to see me? And if they wake you, do you. Bye. See ya. I, I mean, don't actually hit him. I'm metaphorically saying you slap him across the face. Your absence, you're pulling yourself out of, a light, out of their lives is you slapping him across the face. So, but over, over time, they'll grow the fuck up. They'll mature. They'll realize that one of the most important things in their lives, their child has left and is tentatively coming back. They will start to respect you and respect your decision. Because here's the thing. They have no choice. If you're a self-supporting adult and you go off on your own, they have to accept that. They may not like it, but you are out on your own doing your own thing. And what will happen is in the long run, and that's what you're aiming for is the long run, you will have a healthier, more respective relationship with your parents and your family, right? As opposed to these kids who like, I mean, I've seen them marry people they didn't want to uh, because their parents set up an arranged marriage because he's a good Muslim boy from fucking Durka, Durkistan or wherever the fuck it was. That happened more than once. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the worst outcome is continuing to stay on their ship. You got to get your own lifeboat, go build up your own aircraft carrier fleet, and then it's like, oh, hey, how you doing? You know, oh, yeah, this is the USS fucking chicks with in Asia with big tits. <laughs> yeah, it's the fun boat. Yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not as exciting. It's way more exciting than your boat. That's <laughs> all right. So we got that. And reason number four, even though most of college is bullshit, I do see the value of being able to commit to a three year degree. It adds to my track record of accomplishments. The question is whether it's a relevant accomplishment or not. Uh, you know what? Like I said, there's no market for economics uh, uh, graduates unless you have your doctorate, your master's. Um, you're already 11,000 in the hole, which is not a lot, a lot by American standards. You have a skill of speaking Japanese, I presume. You have this marketing entrepreneurship. You have an operational and, and reasonably successful business model. I would drop out, maybe take a class at night or something. Go online, find something online. Take your time though, because you know, honestly, I don't think deep down inside you want to major in economics. So first, figure out what you want to do, you know, in your life. And the best way to do that is do some reconnaissance by doing what you want to do, and that is going out and traveling and living off of your online revenue. All right. So I would use, I could finish off whatever semester you got. Work your waiter job until you could pay off that that student loans. Build up a uh, war chest. And then get your ass to go to Vegas. Let me know when you're in Vegas. There's always a good chance I might be there. Uh, go to Seoul. Go, go, to, go to wherever you want, man. And, and you go travel that. And that's going to be an infinitely better life. Not just through experiences, but you're going to learn so much more about yourself and what you truly want to do. You'll go to the fucking Philippines. You'll find like, oh my God, I want to be a carpenter in the Philippines. And then you'll go be carpenter in the Philippines. And you'll have your harem of women out there, no doubt. But you're not going to find that out fucking doing what millions of other rank and file, cookie cutter, sausage link 20-somethings are doing right now. Going to college for a liberal arts degree in the UK. It, you're just, and you already have, you have the potential and you have the experience as well living a different fucking life. So, I, and I guarantee you the comment sections below is going to be a bunch of old time men like me and older saying, get your ass over to Asia with them fat titty uh, uh, Asian girls because it's just, it's just, it's the dream. It's the perfect dream. You just had it too young to appreciate what you had there. So anyway, hope that helps out. You guys got questions. Go to assholeconsulting.com. Your older brother, Cappy, would take care of you. We got my podcast, soundcloud.com. Check that out. My blog, captaincapitalism.blogspot.com. And my books on amazon.com. One final thing, I forgot to mention this. You have a very similar situation to uh, O'Shea Jackson. Uh, you don't, if you don't know who he is, he's on YouTube. O'Shea Duke Jackson. There's several of them, uh, O'Shea Jacksons. He is O'Shea Duke Jackson. He's this black guy from Sacramento, California, and he's in Poland becoming a doctor. Tune into his channel, okay, because I think there's a lot of parallels. Uh, you guys being uh, the, the not dominant race wherever you are, <clears throat> going to a foreign land, 
pursuing a degree. There's a lot of parallels, I think, and he's a couple of years older than you, so you probably gained some wisdom from him, but uh, do that. Anyway, we'll catch up with you guys later. Toodles.